Hey, what is going on guys? It's Wii Studios and today it is time to do something a little bit different. Once again, we're actually going to be combining a fan game onto the Nintendo 3DS. Now, if you guys remember, I made a video about a few days ago, about a week ago or so, I don't remember, uh, on Yoshi in Sonic 2. This is the best mod I've ever seen in my life. I, I, I just, I, I had to have it on my Nintendo 3DS. So, here it is. I'm going to show it to you guys right now on my Nintendo 3DS. I have injected this game I think I passed it hoops yeah it's right here there we go as you guys can see this is the old 3ds as well so it's crazy that you can have this running on the old style 3ds so we're just gonna go ahead and run it and we're just gonna see how well it works and if you guys are interested in installing uh, injecting Genesis games onto your 3DS, whether it be an old 3DS or a new 3DS, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below, and we will get, and I will definitely get to you guys. All right, here we go. As you guys can see, I reached Act Two before. So as you guys can clearly see, the game is running on the 3DS. This is the old 3DS. It's running really well so far, and I have never seen I and it's it's really weird that they just didn't uh they didn't make it so that Sega I mean uh Super Nintendo games could run on the old 3DS. I'm going to do a little bit of research to see if there's a way to bypass um the SNES only running on the So as you guys can probably notice right here there is a little bit of lag though it's um it's not that bad. It's definitely not to where it's unplayable. That's a fact. Crap. I'm not going to go in there because if you guys have seen my video already, uh, that's definitely not the best idea. Oh, go Yoshi. Oof. There we go. We're okay. We're okay. We got this. Now, as you guys can see, their game runs extremely well. So far, everything is running pretty much perfectly fine, except for when we got hit by that thing. But those things are only in the first level anyway, so shoot. Nope. Okay, we'll just jump on them then. Woo! That was close. Oh my god. I can't believe I actually survived that. It's just a few hiccups here every now and then. It's definitely nothing to get mad over. I am definitely content with this. This is crazy good. I'm not even going to bother with the Chaos Emeralds. God damn it. I hate those things. Those things are so annoying. Whoa, look at his. I'm waiting for this stupid thing to go. There we go. Don't have any more eggs, but that is completely fine. There we go. Come here. Come here, egg. Come here, Eggman. Or Dr. Robotnik. He's gonna try to attack us. There's some more of those puffball things. Trying to avoid those at all costs here. Oh, he got lucky right there. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I had to itch. My ear itched. And I'm pretty sure you guys have heard people do that before. There you go. Oh, my God. I just ate, like, all of them. Yoshi, you're a fat sack of bastard. I guess we'll do uh, one more act. Uh, we'll do Chemical Plant Zone 1. Um, we're just going to do the first one here. Um, I don't want to get too far into this game right here because I don't feel like waiting for the video to render for another hour. It's a little bit late as well. I decided to make this video because I wanted to show you guys the possibilities of custom having custom firmware on a 3DS is definitely the best thing a 3DS could have. And I am aware that right now custom firmware doesn't exactly work on the latest version. But that will hopefully soon change, and hopefully we will get some custom firmware working really soon. Uh, because I do have a new Nintendo 3DS here just waiting to to start uh, to get officially hacked. It only has homebrew on it right now. But I really want to start showing you guys. I don't want to keep doing this setup right here where I have the camera on me and then another camera on the 3DS. I, got, I want you guys to see direct footage from the 3DS. And right now I don't have a capture card. 
So right now, there's really no possible way for me to do that. I cannot do that from an old 3DS, but I can do that from a new 3DS. It's just too bad that I had to up that my sister's was uh, mm, it wasn't updated, but I updated it myself just so I would be able to show you guys how to get custom firmware when it comes out for 11.3. Which, hopefully, will happen very soon. And yes, that basically confirms, guys, when custom firmware comes out for 11.3, I'll be on top of it. You guys can definitely depend on me bringing you guys a video, a very specific tutorial on how to install custom firmware on 11.3. There we go, guys. That is the first act of Chemical Plant. I'm going to end off the video right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. If you guys enjoy this mod, uh, if you guys have enjoyed the playthrough of this mod, because as of right now, there is no uh, link to it. And honestly, I am sorry, but I cannot link the CIA to this because I'm not too sure what the whereabouts are for the guy who made this or what he decided to do with the download. It was taken down literally the day after or a few hours after i uploaded my first video so i'm sorry guys i'm not going to be able to put a download link in the description um but if any of that changes you can definitely get you can definitely be rest assured that i am going to put a cia version of this game for the 3ds uh in the description of this video and if you guys want to try it on a genesis emulator i will have it on my other video if you haven't seen it go check it out definitely i highly recommend it and once again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.